Hello everybody, today we are going to be talking about conditional distributions and graphing a side-by-side -side bar graph. Okay, these are a little bit more in-depth than the marginal distributions, which hopefully you've watched that one. Marginal distributions are very straightforward. Well, when you get into conditional distributions, the only problem that I could see anybody having is, is this number one right here. When to use a row percent or a column percent? What conditional means is conditional means that we're not talking about everybody. We're not talking about everybody. We're either talking about what percentage of males watch the game for the game, or say what percentage of females watch the game for the commercials. Okay? Or what percentage or what percent of the people who watch the game are males? Okay, so it's conditional on these column totals or these row totals. It's conditional on these row totals or column totals. That's very important. These row totals or column totals are always going to be in your denominator. And when to use row percents or column percents, it all has to do with who we're interested in. The who, just like we did before, you want to restrict it. Okay, you usually could tell what the problem. This is just find the conditional distribution of game preference and sex. So I'm just going to pick the second one to be the who. This will be my who. It's also more interesting. We're more interested in saying what percent of males are going to watch the game for the game, or what percent of females are going to watch for the commercials. That's more interesting than. What percent of the people who are going to watch for the commercials are males? Okay, so in this case, we are going to do row percents. Row percents. Okay, most of the time you could tell the difference of when to do which one. This kind of says it in the problem. They hint at the problem which one they, what the who is. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. So we'll go ahead and do the male conditional. Male conditional. Okay, so the male conditional is going to have three things. So it's going to be, we have to use this chart. It's going to be this one divided by this one. Oh, I just messed up, didn't I? Sorry about that. I got backwards myself. How many males are there? There's 492 males. Out of these males, how many are going to watch the game for the game? 279. So this first one here is 279 divided by 492, which is 55, 56.7. Can make this any smaller. 56.7%. Okay, so let's do the next one. The next one is just going to be 81 divided by 492. Really understand what I'm doing here, 16.5. All I'm doing is taking, out of all the males, what percent won't watch? 132 divided by. All of these should add to 100%. Or if you do them in decimals, it'll be one. Okay, so that's the conditional for the males. Okay, this is going to be very important on how to interpret these when we talk about independence in the next video. Matter of fact, I'm going to take this, this distribution right here when we talk about it. Okay, so the same thing for the females. We're interested in the females. The conditional distribution of the females would be 200 over 516. So we'll say 38.8. So we're back. And the conditional distribution for the next one will be 156 divided by 516. It's 30.2. And you really need to practice these. Just do some, you know, from the homework and everything, and, and you, you should be fine. They do get a little confusing at times. So 31%.
Okay, so that's your conditional distribution of game preference and sex. So now what we could do is we could go ahead and graph these percentages in what's called a side-by-side -side bar chart. You have to be comfortable at doing this. You're going to see it. You'll see it on the AP exam. You'll see it all over. So generally what I do is whatever the who is, whatever the who is, will go on the x-axis. x-axis. Okay? And then the other variable, so this would be on the x, and the game preference will be on the y-axis. And you have to label. We have to get creative here and label. So here, for sex, I'll just go ahead and put gender. So I'm labeling gender. Okay, how many genders do we have? We have two. So we have male, and we have female. So those are my two categories. Now over here, we have to label our response. Game preference. Let me write game preference. Game preference just sounds better. I was writing response before, but game preference sounds better. Okay, so here's where you have to get creative. Okay, we have three different three different categories. We have the game. So you have to do a box and you have to color it different than the other two. Game. Let's go with commercials. Commercials. You could get creative here, just make them a little different. And then we will go with we won't go, we'll go with won't watch. How about we do a little something like that? Okay, now here over here, these are going to be our percents, and let's take it to fifty. Let's take it to fifty percent. And of course, you guys, when you guys do these, girls do these. You want to make them very, very neat. Okay. Let me take this away. Okay, so the first one, game. Let's see if I can find that color I used. I think it's that one. Okay, so we're going to game. So go male, game. That's 56.7. 56.7, so I'll put it right there. And now I'm going to commercials, which is pretty low pretty low. Down here I'd say that's about 16%. And the last one would be 26, so it's about halfway up. So, right about there. And like I said, you guys want to be really good. Now I get the fun part, which would be coloring them in. Okay, let's do this one my street light and my curly okay so that's for that one now we're gonna do the one for the females so let's get started here you could fast forward through the video if you'd like if you kinda get it okay so now I'm looking at 38.8 Oh, wrong color. Thirty-eight point eight. We'll go to commercials, which actually a little lower. I thought it was gonna be a little higher. Then we'll go. Lastly, will be our thirty-one. Yeah, females were pretty evenly distributed through. All three of them. Let's go a quick color in. Let's do a quick color in. My lines. Circles. And squigglies. Okay. So when we start talking about independence, I'm going to go and talk about what this means. You guys could basically see just by looked at it, it says oh well more men are interested in watching the game than females you could look at the the two metal ones see I'm just looking at this this is the game 
So men are more interested in the females and watching the game. Oh, well, females are a little more interested in watching the game for commercials than the males. And the, for the about the same percent of males aren't going to watch than the females. I guess I got this. This one should be a little lower. This one should be right about here and not so high up. But you get the general point. Make sure you study these. I'm going to try to do another one, another video on here for more practice. Make sure you watch the one for independence. It's very important that you could read this graph or you could read this conditional distribution and determine if something may be independent or not. Okay, thank you for watching. I appreciate it and have a nice day.